Vincent and I had just played in the Moorestown Theater, Moorestown, New Jersey. We had played in 65, 1965, husband and wife, Willie and Linda Lohman in Death of a Salesman. So I knew Vinny. Um, we become good friends. We knew each other socially. He sent me to summer stock up at um, New Hampshire, Hampton, New Hampshire. He, he called his friends who ran it, John Vary and Al Christie, and said, I have an actress if you want a leading actress for the summer. Got me a job, got them a leading actress. And I was up there two summers in a row. So Vinny figured, importantly, in my paycheck and in my, in my acting, he was wonderful as Willie Loman. I was much too young to be doing Linda Loman, but it was, it was a good experience because that's a good role. Um, I didn't understand it completely. I was over 30, but I didn't understand all the ramifications of, of, of that play, of that role, of those people who, after all, were probably mid-50s, late 50s as characters. I don't know how exactly how old they are, but I just had to imagine what it would be like to be that age. And to have happened what happened. I was asked by Norman Lear, I was doing Sticks and Bones on Broadway at that point for uh, Joseph Papp. I had replaced Elizabeth Wilson. So I'm on Broadway in a big part, in a boring play, in a boring role, but I'm on Broadway. When I get a call from Norman Lear to come audition for a role he had in mind for me for um, All in the Family. Norman Lear had come to the opening night of one of my favorite, favorite plays and favorite, favorite roles of all time. I played Faye Precious in, oh, no, this wasn't Faye Precious in Who's Happy Now by Oliver Haley. This was Tonight in Living Color by Pete Gurney. Yes, A.R. Gurney. And Norman Lear was there opening night. That was also one of my favorite roles, oh boy. A two-character play that I did with Tim Curry. Was that his name? Tim Boom, and uh, Norman Lear saw it and called three years later for me to come out and be on All in the Family. Well, now I'm in this Broadway play and Pap won't let me out to go. So I flew out and auditioned anyway, knowing that I couldn't do it, and Norman knew I couldn't do it, just so I could meet the director and they could, we could maybe set up something for the future, which they did. And Mr. Pap said that I could go and do something like that, after I'd played the part that I'd taken over on Broadway from Elizabeth Wilson for a while. So I played it for a while, and Norman called and said he had this other part for me, which turned out to be the Bunkers Meet the Swingers, and could I come and do it? Well, I was just sick that I didn't get to do that first one. It was a marvelously funny witty little sex bomb of some sort. And you know, actually, The Bunkers Meet the Swingers was a much better part. And Pap did let me go out and do it. And uh, there's Vincent Gardenia as my husband. So it was just lovely casting. And it won the best, uh, the best segment, the best comedy segment of that year, which was, I don't know what, 1972. Uh, because of its writing, of course. Best written comedy segment.